So in general, organizations have to look into AI today in order to basically accelerate and be able to be more efficient in what they do because we are seeing the introduction of AI in so many different applications today in the market. And the goal really is to be, is to be able to really consider AI as a great tool to build novel applications that can accelerate. So it's almost like a muscle that organizations have to take into account when they come and review what are the solutions they can apply. So this is why actually looking into AI as another avenue to implement solutions is so key. And if organizations are not familiar with the, this architecture and tooling and what it allows, so they are basically preventing for themselves from being innovative in that sense, which is obviously now that every business is a technology business, we have to be able to account for that avenue as well. So this is why I think it's almost like a muscle. I'm seeing many customers that are building center of excellence around AI that are reviewing needs of the business and whether AI can be used in, to solve them in a better way than what we have with other options. It's not necessarily the case, but being able to really uh, consider that as part of the solutions, this is what makes AI a must uh, I think for any organization today in the tool set. You know, there's a lot of common use cases for generative AI. You hear about, you know, knowledge bases and answering questions, customer service. I think the biggest use case that gets overlooked all the time is providing access to end users. End users want on-demand access because they're gonna come up with a thousand different use cases throughout the day, and you can't plan for those. And so we can't forget the biggest use case that is out there is giving everybody secure access to generative AI, and most customers wanna do that in their own environment. So at Deloitte, one of our offerings on AWS is a cloud configuration managed service. Um, depending on the industry you're in, you're subject to some basic uh, requirements, whether it's from your regulators or industry standards, like a PCI DSS, or it could be some more significant. On the back end, we have um, simplified a lot of the controls that are required for, um, for compliance across the globe to a number of compliance frameworks to help make it easier for our clients and customers to migrate to the cloud in a secure manner and to be able to um, prove the controls are there.